Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sebastian, I'm a Christian and I love Muslims. I saw in many of the comments on my videos a lot of people being really critical against the Bible. So in this video I want to share some of the reasons why I believe the Bible and I hope that you'll do your best effort to try to understand why some of us actually believe it. I have three questions I want to talk about. First one is, can we trust a copy? Second, do you believe in God? Third one, what is the Bible? So first question, can we trust a copy? I heard many Muslims say that we cannot trust the Bible since the one we have today is not the original one. But did you know that the Quran we have today is also not the original? According to Sahih al-Bukhari, there was a man called Uthman. He asked three men to make copies of the fragments of the Quran and then burn the original ones. So the one we have today is actually a copy. I'm not saying this as an argument against the Quran, but I'm saying this as an argument for the Bible. If you can trust the Quran we have today, you can also trust the Bible we have today. The Bible was quickly translated into many different languages and sent to many different countries. We don't have the original one, but we have so many early copies and translations. And when we compare them to each other, we see how identical they are. And in this way, we get a very accurate image of the original one. And every time a Bible translation is being made, they go back to these early reliable copies of the Bible. Second question, do you believe in God? According to the Quran, God first sent Taurat, Zabur, Indil. And this is what Christians call the Bible. But today many Muslims are saying that the Bible has been changed and we cannot trust it. But people who are saying that are actually accusing God of being weak. They think that humans are stronger than God since they are able to change his own word. I believe in God. I believe that God is all powerful and almighty and he would never allow anyone to change his word. So trust in God believe the Bible. Third question, what is the Bible? I don't know if you ever opened a physical Bible, but you can also download it as an application on your smartphone. And when you open it, you will find 66 books inside of it. These books are divided into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament contains Taurat by Musa, Zabur by Dawood, and many other prophets. And the New Testament contains El Indil and other books. Some people also call the whole New Testament El Indil. It's called the New Testament because it states a new beginning. This is when Jesus entered the world and this is really big news. The New Testament starts with four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. We call all four of them Gospels, in Arabic, Indil. But we also call the whole New Testament El Indil. And this leads to some confusion because some people believe that some Christians believe in one Indil, other Christians believe in another one. But actually all four of these Indil Gospels, they are all in the one Bible we all believe in. The Apostle John was a close follower of Jesus and he writes in his first letter in the New Testament. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. So the Apostle John was so close to Jesus. And when we read the Bible, we get so close to Jesus. And in 2 Timothy in the New Testament, it says, All scripture is God breathed. So when we read the Bible, we read the actual word of God. As you continue to read the Bible after the four Gospels, there's a book called Acts. It's about the lives of the first followers of Jesus. After Acts comes a lot of letters to the first churches. And in the end of the Bible, there's a book called Revelation. And the book of Revelation ends with a warning for each one of us. It says, I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this scroll. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in this scroll. We can trust the Bible. So get one, 
get a physical one or download it on your smartphone, or find the application called Discover App where you get good help of understanding the Bible. Read it and obey it. It will be a huge blessing for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow Al Bishara on YouTube and Facebook. God bless you. Bye.